Hey everyone and welcome to my first video that I'm gonna do makeup but first I'm gonna wash my face with the Mangostain Daily Resurfacing Cleanser by Eminence which I really really love it has lactic acid inside that helps to resurface your face and it does it very gently so I really love it because it gives you an amazing glow before I do my makeup and do anything so here we go all I'm gonna use is this amount. I'm gonna wash, damp my face very gently. My face is all washed right now. Um, looks pretty much uh, exfoliated to me I want to do a little bit extra I use one of my uh, facial mask which is for hydration this one is by pharmacy and this is a brand which I really really love it has honey inside and it's a renewing antioxidant hydration mask it would leave you an amazing glow on your face and um, it's great for any skin type I have combination skin type so it doesn't really like clog my pores or anything like that and it's really hydrating and it has a lot of antioxidant properties so I'm just gonna use it to apply it on my face so I'm just gonna use a q-tip So I'm all done applying the honey mask on my face. So the next step is to massage it and then it will give you a different color. So you'd see it right now, it's turning white. And it's also a heating mask. So it's a thermal honey mask, which is great because it's also opening your pores, stimulating your blood circulation, bringing more blood flow, increasing collagen production. So after I'm finishing to massage it, I would leave it for 10 minutes, jump into the shower, and I will do my makeup right after. So it doesn't feel too hot. It's only gonna give you a sensation of heating while you're massaging it and it's throughout the 10 minutes. Leave it for 10 minutes and I will rinse it off and I'll show you what it looks like. Hey everyone, so I just washed my face and this is what it looks like after I have taken the mask off. I just put in my moisturizer and my eye cream and I'm ready for my makeup application. So I'm gonna use the Sephora eyeshadow. It's called Sephora Pro and this is the eyeshadow palette. I just got and it has so many colors to choose from so it's gonna be very easy to do your makeup just with one palette these are all the colors which are stunning you can see them I'm gonna use some of them today so you see exactly what I'm doing but first I'm gonna take the Urban Decay eye makeup primer which is gonna help the makeup uh, last longer throughout the night. It makes a huge difference. So I highly recommend using an uh, eyeshadow uh, primer if you haven't before. This one is a really great one. I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm gonna apply it on. So the very first color, I'm just gonna take this brush and this is by Sephora and it's called Airbrush Shadow and I'm gonna take the uh, Alabaster, this color, over here, as a base color. Just gonna dip it inside. So you always want to start your makeup application with the lighter shade which will be your base. Okay, I'm done with the base color. I'm gonna go to my second color, 
which will be the fine opal. She's the third one to your left. I'm actually gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna use it on the crease of my lid. You know, very important tip, you always wanna do it when your eyes is open so you see exactly where the crease is and you don't go too high, okay? So I'm gonna start with my eye closed, but then I'm gonna open it right away. So I know exactly how high I wanna, I wanna go based on my eye shape. So that will give me a little bit more definition. Going all the way inside. A little bit on the outer crease. Just gonna blend it in a little bit more. I'm gonna do the other side now. Again, my eyes closed just for the first few seconds and then I'm opening wide. So I know exactly where I wanna go. A little bit to the outer crease. Keeping my eye open. That way I know exactly what I'm doing. All right, so my next color would be the granite right here in the middle. So that's a little bit darker going to the um, purplishy um, kind of thing, that kind of color. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little bit more definition, more color. And this one I'm only gonna put on the very inner crease. Okay, I'm not gonna go all the way up like I did right now with the fine opal. So you see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, going into it. Now you always want to keep your eye open and just put it a little bit in the middle going into the inner crease outer crease doing the other side so sometimes i do shut my eye just so i can get very uh, deep into the crease so i open i close my eye i open it and then I do that. <laughs> Next color. So you kind of see how those two colors blending in, but I'm gonna blend it in a little bit more um, when I'm done. So right now I'm gonna go to an even darker color. This is canvas right here. And this is more like brown, purplish, a little bit darker. So I'm gonna dive in into the more smoky look because I'm going to uh, dinner tonight. So I'm gonna put a bunch on my outer crease, right like that. Just dab it in. I'm gonna blend it in. I'm gonna take a bigger clean brush to blend everything in. I'm going back to woodland. Okay, so I did my under uh, lids. I used the same colors. So I did the brown all the way in, and then the dark, like a little bit closer to my eye. So I'm just gonna go a little bit more actually. My eyeshadow is almost done. What I'm gonna use right now um, is the Marc Jacob eyeliner. This is the one. So I'm just gonna use it on my upper lid. I'm 
and also in the waterline, just to make it more bold. I'm gonna take my new brush by Sephora, Sephora 18, just to smudge it up a little bit. Really want to smudge it more at the end. Get that cat look, smoky eye. Getting more definition. Now, I'm going to take the Marc Jacob Green Eyeliner. I'm going to use it. Oh, I love that color. <laughs> Mascara. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Super Fan Fan Out Mascara. This is what the brush looks like. Love this mascara. Almost done. <laughs> okay, second side. Okay, going to my eyebrows, which is like the number one thing I always do when I go out, <laughs> when I do makeup. If I decided that the hack of it, I'm not going to get my makeup done today. That's something else. <laughs> but one of my favorite, and I've been using for a long time, is Anastasia Beverly Hills. And over here, I'm going to use the Taupe Brow Powder Dew. I've been using the pencil for a long time, but I'm getting much better uh, result with this one giving me a much better uh, natural look first i'm going to use a new product i just bought and that's by benefit it's called me the gimme brow plus brow volumizing fiber gel this is it i took the very light shade one so um, if you're a brunette i would recommend to go two shade lighter and if you're blonde you want to go like a shade um, darker so comes like that cute brush and i'm gonna brush my eyebrows the other way just like the um, girl in sephora taught me to i'm gonna go crazy a little bit brushing them the other way and then i'm gonna brush them back to where they need to be okay so this is after I did it. This is also very nice, but I'm gonna give it like a fuller look. I'm gonna make them look bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna rock my these eyebrows, you'll see. Okay, so this is what they look like right now. And now I'm gonna use the Anastasia. So, on the do, I always take the darker one. As you can see, I've been using that side more. And I'm gonna take my Anastasia brush, actually. One of my favorite. And I'm just gonna do the frame for the outer side, starting in the bottom. Then I'm gonna go to the upper part going to do my foundation right now i'm using the bare mineral bare pro this is the one i don't like to go too heavy on my foundation just because liquid foundation tend uh, to break me out 
So this is a little bit more uh, airy, a little bit more breathable. It's not gonna be as heavy. I'm just gonna rub it in like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of the very, very light color, Citroen. Yeah, I really like it. So this is the Citroen I've been using now, just for the my inner creases, like the very inner corner. Okay. Too Faced. Love this one. Smells like chocolate. <laughs> so this is my bronzer. I wish you could smell it. It smells amazing. <laughs> so we want to go on the halo over here. If you want to blend it in, you can go in the like shape of three. Last, I'm going to use a, br a blush by Tarte. It's an Amazonian clay 12 hour blush. Comes like that. I'm going to take it off right now. Uh, Tarte has a lot of nice uh, shades that aren't uh, shimmery. I don't like everything to be shimmery. Um, and I can use it on a daily basis. This color is called Exposed. You can see it right now because of the light. But that's what it says. Just gonna uh, put a little bit of when you do the blush, you wanna do it on the apples of your cheeks. Blending all together. So my last step would be to put a lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the lipstick and I'll show you my total look. I'm back, so I'm not gonna do anything crazy about my lips. I'm just gonna use the Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm by Dior, and this is balm, seriously. I've been using it for the last um, four years, and they have came with so many other colors, meaning it's being very popular. So it's a lip treatment. I'm gonna use the 004, which is one of their uh, like first colors. They do have plenty of new ones. But I'm addicted to it. It's a Dior addict and I'm, I'm an addict. It's, it gives it a really nice plump. It makes a, a nice look just for a lipstick. So that's pretty bomb. Um, I'm actually going to add... I've just added um, an under brow highlighter by Anastasia. So this was my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below. Um, I would love to hear what you have to say. This is my very first video. So if you have any requests or have any other questions, please let me know. If you like my video, please give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below and click that little bell button so you're notified next time I post a video. I love you guys so much and talk to you soon. Bye!